in this corner, <laughs> on one canvas, we are going to attempt the Dwight Moore's recipe that he has posted. Um, he posted the recipe in his collaboration with Sarah Taylor. I hope I got that name right. And let me see if I got the recipe right. Um, it is. Um, now, if you don't have a kitchen scale, I highly recommend you get a kitchen scale of some sort um, and measure your paint. Um, not everybody does. I mean, if you watch Millie D, who is an amazing artist, she eyeballs everything. So, um, but I don't trust myself, so I could just go everything. So, um, okay, so that said, he, his recipe is three parts Floatrol to two parts um, the Artist Loft uh, Flow Acrylic, which is that giant bottle of stuff that, um, this stuff. Now, this stuff, you can't just use out of the bottle to pour with. It does need to be thinned down. Um, then it is one part GAC 800, which is um, something new for me. And according to the bottle, it is a low crazing extender for pouring acrylic pours, pouring acrylic colors. I can read. Um, it's by Golden. Uh, never heard a bad thing about Golden. So... I'm excited to try it. Then it is a half part of Liquitex Pouring Medium and a half part of the Deco Art Satin Enamel. Now, I don't know if plain old house paint satin enamel would work. It might, but that brings me to my second experiment. Although, um, full disclosure, for both of mine, I'm using the Deco Art Satin Enamel because they don't have anything different. So my second experiment, I mixed up based on Patty Puckett pouring. I found her recipe and she used 50% of the Artist Loft Flow Acrylic. She used 25% satin enamel. Now she used a house paint for hers. Um, and then she used 25% of the Liquitex Medium. So this is the Liquitex Medium, um, has the E for effects. Um, this is just an eight ounce bottle. Uh, I was at Michael's today, and this is 15 bucks at Michael's for just an 8 ounce bottle. Um, I didn't buy this today, this is a bottle that I've had. Um, but definitely use a coupon, buy it online at Blick, um, it's cheaper, um, or you know, I'm sure you can find it online at less expensive places too. Um, I'm also kind of using Patty's suggestion um, or her recipe for the colors, um, and what she used for the colors was 50% of the, again, the Liquitex um, pouring medium and 50% flow troll um, mixed with colors. So my colors are pretty thin. I don't know if you can see that. Um, I mixed up three separate colors um, and because I just wanted to try to keep things on an even playing field, um, they're all Liquitex Basics colors. So I have a Pyrrole Red, I have a Payne's Ray, and I have a Turquoise Blue. They all happen to be opaque as well. So we'll see how that goes. So um, I'm gonna pop on some gloves and I'm gonna do these one at a time. And let's see if we can make some cells happen. 